This technique takes one week or less and is based on Neville Goddard's teachings. This secret technique is easy and fun. If you want to manifest some bigger goals in your life effortlessly, then you must watch this video till the end because it will help you get all the things you desire. But before we start, I want to remind you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and press the bell icon so that you can watch more videos from this channel because here we upload a new video each day. Now let's jump right into it. While Neville Goddard was a great mystic and writer in the previous century, his teachings have brought revolution and a complete change to the lives of millions of people. People who studied his teachings and applied them to their lives became successful in every part of their lives. He himself proposed many techniques to manifest desires using the power of thoughts. But the technique that I'm going to share here in this video is a technique that most people don't know about. Before I share the technique with you, I would like to explain to you on what principle this technique works so that you can make the best use of it. Neville Goddard said, if you can hold it in your head, you can hold it in your hand. Everything that comes into your mind in the form of an idea or thought is possible for you, and if you can imagine it to be yours, it will be yours. This is what the Law of Assumption says, and this technique actually works on the principle of the Law of Assumption. Here in this technique, you will make positive assumptions about your desire because according to Neville Goddard, assumptions harden into facts. You just have to believe that your assumptions are true. In the manifesting community, assumptions and imagination have great importance and they are often discussed. Our actions are the result of our thoughts, so if we make positive assumptions about our desires, we will take positive action and ultimately, we will manifest whatever our desires are. Well, let me now discuss the technique step by step. The first step involves knowing your desire. Ask yourself what your desire is and know the reason for it so as to get clear on it. When you know the reason behind your desire, it helps you better understand yourself and makes the best use of your imagination. You might have many desires, but here you need to decide what is best for you. Here you may get confused, but as I have told you, you should know the reason for each of your desires so that you can make a better decision. Let's say you want to manifest money. Why do you want to manifest money? What do you want to spend your money on? What do you want to buy using the money you want to manifest? This is how you get clear on your desire, and it is crucial because it helps you discover more of your desires. You want to manifest money, that means you want to buy a house, or you want to buy a car, or you want to start some business. You need to look into the details of your desire and inspect it from every aspect. Using this technique, you can manifest any of your desires, but as you know, you manifest using the power of your thoughts. You create thoughts, and they become reality. So when you try to manifest many things at the same time, your mind gets confused. You are saying you want money, you are saying you want a job, you are craving love, and you also need a new house. All of it will make up your mind confused. So you should use this technique to manifest one desire at a time, and once one of your desires is manifested, you can use it for another. Otherwise, if you try to manifest multiple desires using this technique, you will get confused or your manifestation will take longer. So you have to decide what is the first desire that you want to manifest, and you have to get clear on it by inspecting it. This is the first step towards manifesting your desire, so when you are done with this step, you will love moving on to the second step. This step involves writing your intentions in the form of affirmations. Simply take a piece of paper and write your affirmations on it. I recommend using small sticky notes. Now what is the best method for writing your intentions? You have to act as if you have manifested your desire, it has been done, and now you are living it. For example, you desire to manifest a specific amount of money. Now you need to assume that you have manifested money. So in that situation, what should your affirmations be? So in that case, your affirmation should be like, I have manifested money. I have manifested $2,000. Or let's say you want to manifest a job. In that case, your affirmation should be something like, I'm thankful because I've gotten the job I desired. So that's how you can make affirmations and write them on a piece of paper or some sticky notes. The purpose of these affirmations is to remind you again and again that you have manifested so that your mind can believe it. You can put these affirmations on the wallpaper of your smartphone so that you can see them every time you check them. You can affix these sticky notes to the mirror of your bathroom so that whenever you go in and take a bath, you can read them again and again. You can affix these sticky notes somewhere in your bedroom or even in your office, in a place where you can see them most of the time. The main idea is to make your mind believe that you have manifested your dream, and this is the easiest and quickest method that requires almost no extra work. Well, now you can also speak these affirmations loudly when you are alone. You can say these affirmations to yourself at any time of the day when you are free. 
You can even write them down in your diary each day. When you do and repeat them each day, they will get imprinted in your mind, and your mind will start believing that you have manifested your desires. You can combine affirmations with visualizations. The use of visualizations is a very powerful way to convince your mind that you have manifested your desire. Now the question is how you can use visualizations along with affirmations. Here simply you will imagine that you have manifested your desire and you feel it real. You can create an imaginary scene if you want, and at any time of the day, you can imagine it. For example, if you wish to manifest a large amount of money, you can imagine a scene in which you receive a message on your smartphone. You unlock your smartphone, and as you read the message, your face glows because your bank account has been credited with $5,000. You take your debit card and go shopping. You buy all the things you want to buy, you pay your bills, you go to your favorite club and enjoy. You not only imagine it, but you make it all real, and you become happy. Feeling it real is the main part of the process. Remember that if you can't feel your visualizations as real, you can't manifest your desire. If you have any sort of doubt or negative thought, you will not be able to manifest your desire because negative thoughts keep you from manifesting your desire. It is necessary to visualize your desire with emotions and feelings because emotions and feelings make your mind believe easily. Visualize each time for at least 10 minutes. Whatever scene you have written, visualize it again and again until your mind starts believing it. In the beginning, of course, your mind will resist, but when you keep imagining a scene again and again loaded with emotions and feelings, it will start believing it. The moment your mind believes it to be real, your desire will be externalized in physical form. Whenever you decide to visualize your desire, make sure you are calm and alone, and there is nobody to distract you. You will cut yourself off from the world when you visualize your desire and feel yourself a part of that scene. How does it feel when you receive a message on your smartphone notifying you that your account has been credited $5,000? How do you feel when you repay your loans? How does it feel when you pay your bills and buy all the things that you wanted to buy? You have to deeply feel those emotions and internalize them. Let me say that once you internalize these feelings, your desire will automatically be externalized. Neville Doddard says that if you can create something in your imagination, you can easily create something in your 3D world because the actual world is your imagination and the world outside of you is the reflection of your inner world. Even the people in your life and around you are your reflection. If you want them to behave differently toward you, you will have to change yourself and their behavior will automatically change. You are the master of your life and the master of the whole world. Your whole life is the creation of your thoughts. The events that occurred in your life were created by your thoughts. And he says that when you imagine something, it becomes the mirror of your imagination. The fact is that life brings us only those experiences that match our belief system because it is a law that exists everywhere. No matter what your belief is, life will bring you hundreds of evidence to strengthen it. So now you have to believe that your desire has been manifested and that you are living it even though it hasn't been manifested. When it becomes your belief, it is externalized into the outer world and you start experiencing it in your real life. So now here is this technique. You have got to take some sticky notes, write your intentions on them, and affix them in your home, in your bedroom, or somewhere in your home, and in your office. You can read these affirmations aloud whenever you see them so that your affirmations can get passed on to your subconscious mind. And you can make this process effective by combining it with the use of visualizations. Visualizations and affirmations are the two most effective ways of putting your desired thoughts in your mind. Affirmations are only words, but when you combine them with visuals, they work beyond your expectations. So this is the whole process, and it takes a few days if you are consistent and believe positively about your desire. No matter what your desire is, you can use this simple technique to attract and materialize it in your life. Your beliefs will materialize your desire into the external world in physical form. If you have a big desire, you must be more consistent because it may take longer. And if you don't believe positively in it, it is never going to happen. The 3D world you live in represents your own self, and you always have the option to have a different life. If for now you are suffering from pain, anxiety, or depression, you can easily get rid of it. What Neville Doddard says is a new reality is just a thought away. Just think from a different perspective, act upon a different idea, and see how things change. You know that a single thought can change your life, so you need to work on your thoughts and monitor them. The main purpose of the method that I've shared with you here is to change your thoughts. You manifested your current life because of your thoughts, and if you want to experience an entirely new life or reality, the answer lies in your head. Just get your mind out of it, and you will get out of it because what you can hold in your head, you can hold in your hand. 
What gets out of your head gets out of your life. When something is created in your head, it takes no longer for you to create it in your real life. It becomes yours, so start imagining it to be yours, start convincing your mind that it is yours and you are living it, and wait for the change to happen in your real life. I hope I was able to deliver a good analysis of this quote by Neville Goddard. And of course, this doesn't mean we agree with every single thing he said or believed in, because in the end, everyone will form his or her own opinion, and that is why we are analyzing and discussing his ideas and methods to fully understand his approach and general ideas, as he was a great teacher and inspired millions of people around the world. If you want to share your opinion, comment down below this video. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to it and press the bell icon for more interesting, informative, and helpful videos on manifestation. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.